Here we go! All right, it's the next day and this looks perfect. I'm still doing a bit of prep till I get the resin uh, poured. And actually, the pouring the resin is actually very, very fast. It's all the prep work and making sure that it works well. That really takes the time. So there's a tiny bit of an overhang on this side. So I'm just gonna turn it over and trim that with a knife. Need a nice sharp knife. And I'm also gonna find a piece of wood so I don't cut into this tablecloth. And it's a nice thick clear shower curtain because then when you pour the resin, it just picks right up. You just wanna protect your surface because the art resin is a glue basically, right? So just take this board and just nice slow patient cuts. Sharp new blade makes everything easier. Beautiful. The next step is we're gonna put tape on the bottom of this actual piece of wood because when the resin drips over the side, it's gonna create little drips all the way along because we'll have it raised up. But if we have tape, just painter's tape, it'll just peel right off the next day and you'll have a nice clean, tidy edge. If you don't put the tape, that's okay. You can file them off. Sometimes you can even stick a chisel underneath the drops and just kind of pick the, the drips off. Just do it right, do it once, and use painter tape on the edge. You'll be happy you did. So it has a cure time of 24 hours, meaning that after 24 hours, it'll feel hard to the touch. But if you pushed with a fingernail, you could actually put a little dent into the surface. It'll self heal, so it won't stay there. But the actual full cure time is three days till it's really hard. I like to say until you wanna start tap dancing on it, right? Which I recommend. Do you go to the ballet? Nope. Do you ever dress up in tights? No comment. <laughs> Again, how long did that take? Two minutes, one minute? But it's worth it. Just do the prep work and you'll save yourself more time later. That's the truth for anything in life, isn't it, Jeff? I actually wrote a book about it. Did you, what's it called? It's called Do the Work Prep Work and it'll make everything easier. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to raise this up just a bit off the surface again so that this doesn't get stuck to your actual table you're working on. And then I wanna make sure it's perfectly level. These are painter's triangles that you can get at a hardware store in the painting section usually. Now, they're great, but they're ridiculously expensive. So, even though I have those, just look around your house and steal things from your baby. These work fine. All you're doing is lifting it up. You don't have to go and buy these, but you can if you want to. And then the last thing that we want is these are called wood shims. So it's basically a piece of wood that's a really long, thin triangle. So if I need to raise up a corner, I have my stand and then I have a wood shim underneath it. If I need to raise up this corner, you just slide the wood shim in further, right? Fantastic little trick. So everyone's got a smartphone and there are tons of level apps. This is a good level because it has both directions at once. Yeah, this one's just called dual, D-U-A-L, level. What this level is telling me is I could raise um, the side furthest away from me up a bit and this corner has to go up the highest. So I'm gonna raise this corner the highest and then I'm going to also raise this corner quite high to bring up that whole side. Look at that. Next step, once you're done re putting resin on, you have to let it sit overnight. So I always start by knowing what I'm gonna cover it with when it's actually done. And there's hair, dust, bugs, all those things can go and land in your art resin and ruin it basically, right? Because we resin a lot of stuff, we just have this room here full of different shapes and sizes of boxes, right? You know, like lids to like uh, paper boxes and stuff. Just save all that kind of stuff because it becomes very useful. Great, so we're level, it's raised, we taped off the bottom. Next, I'm gonna put gloves on because I'm gonna start using resin. These ones are called nitrile gloves and they also have some uh, chemical resistant properties. You can wash art resin off of your hands, but it's like a glue. So this is mostly so that you don't get all sticky and dirty, right? There's no VOCs in it, so I don't have to wear a mask and it's very low odor, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna need a mixing cup, my resin, and a stir stick. Uh, are you ever so organized that you lose things? This is a resin spreader and it's great because see these notches? You yeah. See that? So imagine if, let's go down to the painting. You'll see how this goes. You're dragging the thick resin across the surface but these notches allow for some of the resin to stay, right? So that's a spreader, and then I pulled out one of these stir sticks, and these are great too, because you can also peel the resin right off of them and reuse them. So we buy our mixing cups at the dollar store. Let me show you something. So this is a juice jug. What's cool about this is I finished resining something, 
Then just put it upside down on your, even on a scrap piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. But watch this, hopefully it'll peel out. Look at that, the whole thing just peeled right out. And it's a brand new mason container. Of course, you have to do some measuring, so having something with lines on it sure does help. The good thing about Art Resin is it's an equal one-to-one -one mixing ratio, so you can just visualize how much you need. That being said, how much resin do we need to cover this? That's a great question, David. I'm gonna do some math. So on artresin.com, at the very bottom, there's what's called the resin usage calculator. And you just type in your dimensions, and then you will see how much resin you'll need and what size bottle you would be best for you to purchase so you're not wasting too much. Of course, like anything, the more you buy, the better the value. And once you do this, you're gonna want a lot of resin because you're gonna love it. And this is the strongest glue in the universe. Resin hardener. Mix the two together, you have 45 minutes to work with it.